and I'll go over the WPT trades and then also um, the retracement trades. So let's take a look at this real quick. Hold on one sec. All right, good morning, Thomas. So let's take a look at these. Um, there's two setups we look for. Let me just skinny this chart down. This is over a three-hour period, or I'm sorry, four-hour period, just so you can see uh, what we try to do in trend markets. Uh, so we have these, these yellow dots are our ATR. So that's our ATR. So what it does, it looks at the average true range of the market that you're trading and it gives what's called a trailing ATR for us. So we have an indicator and a strategy that will run this ATR, and the indicator and the strategy um, can be run separately or together. So you can print this. So that's our ATR. So we don't want to start looking for trades until, according to this method, until the yellow dot starts printing. Once the yellow dot starts printing, then we have a running ATR. You're going to start seeing these dots print under price. As long as price stays above this ATR, then the dots will continue to print consecutively one after each other. The moment it closes, one close below your ATR that you put in, and uh, the setting I have in here for the ATR for you guys is 20. Uh, you can go 18 to 20. 18, you're not going to get these WPTs. 20, you'll catch them. If you want a tighter stop, uh, you can run it as low as 18. I wouldn't go below 18. But I showed 20 in the room um, here. So just so you can get the uh, rolling position trader trades right here. But as long as you do not close below the yellow line, and you can change the color on this if you want, then it'll keep printing. So as you can see, it stopped printing here. We got a close below the ATR. And so you no longer have dots of print. So what we want to try to do then, there's two setups you can look for inside of a running ATR. And what we try to use, we try to use speed in the market to look for retracements and what's called rolling position trader trades. So if you look at the bright green boxes, those are speed bars, and the bright red boxes that close with price, those are called speed bars. So what we're trying to do, we're trying to see when there's a volume spike in the market, or there's big speed in the market that comes. So those are our speed boxes. Once we see the speed boxes print, you have two opportunities to look for a setup. The first setup you're going to look for is what's called a retracement trade. So right when this first speed box came in, all right, you see the arrows start, I mean the dots start printing. There's your first speed box. Once you start seeing the first speed box come in, you can look straight down at your retracement indicator down here. Here's our retracement indicator. Look for a full retracement, getting above 90 or below 10%. Now you can adjust on the strategy to be higher or lower than that if you want. I showed 90 in the room and 10. So that's our full retracement. So once you get a running ATR, you get a volume spike or speed in the market when this closes green. Then we're going to look for a full retracement below to get below 10%. Once below there, our symmetry indicator, our mere sim um, Rinko, already has market delta built in. You look for a positive market delta or a green reversal bar. So that would be your entry. All right. I do provide the triangles that come up occasionally. They're more of a deeper retracement. This is an eight that I use on the bottom of the chart for a retracement indicator. I use 20 on the strategy or the indicator I'm showing. So when you see these arrows fire, the same thing is happening is that this is looking for a full retracement inside of a running ATR. You can see below. That's an entry here. 
we'll retrace it below. But you can do additional setups. So what I'm doing on the new update for the strategy is called add-on trades. And what add-on trades is a toggle switch. And what it will do, if you want, if you want additional trades, so these are entries right here. That's an entry. These are all entries off of a pullback after speed. But what you can do if you want more setups, and this will let the strategy do this independently of each other, then what it will do, it will take along here, or show an arrow to an indicator, it will show it here, it will show it here, it will show it here. So you get triangles here too, full retracement here, it will show it here. So if you want more setups, you just hit the toggle switch on on the indicator strategy, you're going to get more setups here, all the way up. The whole idea behind this is, is that inside of a running ATR, you have multiple opportunities to get long, not just deep pullbacks. So you can see, you can on the strategy, what you can do is you can max out the number of contracts. How I'm making this, you can max out the number of contracts when you're inside the running ATR. So let's say you get long on this first, um, first one here, and you have add-on contracts. This one will work independently of each other, and you can max out the number of contracts you do. So this is one contract will sell at the first target, and it won't sell until all the way up here on your second target. Well, if you have add-on trades, this is another trade setup. This is a WPT trade, and it is a red speed box. So this is the second trade you look for. Retracement trades are always with trend. Green box, if dots are printed below, you look for retracement trades. If you see a red box close inside of an uptrend ATR, that's catching the rolling position traders. That's called a WPT trade. Caught the exact low on that little move. So if you see opposite color speed bars, we're catching the rolling position traders. I call those WPTs. And that's in the strategy and indicator also as a toggle switch. So you can independently just look for these by themselves. Or you can look for both these and the retracement trades. But let's say that you, so you got long two contracts here. You got one off. It retraces. If you, if you click on the add-on trades, it will go long another two contracts here. And then first target off, and it won't sell to up here. Then it'll add another two contracts here. And then it will sell, and then it'll sell here. So you can do multiple contracts. And I put it up. The limit is unlimited to the number of contracts that you can do. The whole idea behind this is when we're getting a running ATR and it's a hot market, you can successively try to capture the big portion of the move with only not only doing two contracts of the whole move, but two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, so on, all the way up. What happens is the ATR then becomes your new stop. So you can do multiple contracts. Now, how you can do this uh, effectively is using the micros, the S&P micros, because the margins are obviously a lot better, and you're 10 to 1, or 1, one tenth, I'm sorry, of the, of the uh, regular S&P move. So you can do multiple contracts on the micros on the way up. So that will be an option called add-on. That's my last finished touch I'm doing on the uh, update for you guys on the strategy. That's something you can do, and then I'll be wrapping this thing up and get it to Gerald and sending this out to you. So what you have now, you can put on a 20 ATR and just do your basic uh, WPTs here and then your retracement trades. Okay? So those are the two setups we look for. We look for retracement trades that are, look for a green, the first thing you do, let's make this simple. We'll shut this off, Gerald. I don't want to make this difficult. You wait for dots. Wait for ATR dots to start printing on any market you trade. That's not a setup, though. Secondly, what you're going to do is you're going to look for a green or red speed box inside of ATR. Look for green or red speed box inside of running ATR because we have speed now. So what you're going to do is you're going to look for these green boxes, I mean these green bars, and then look for retracement. Green bars, retracement. Green bars, retracement. Red bar should catch the low. Once you start seeing the first red bar, look for the first positive market delta. That should catch the low. 
Okay, you don't stop looking for trades on these two trades and still and sit until I'm sorry, you close outside of a running ATR. Once you get outside the ATR, you typically go into ABC patterns and you get choppy and we don't want to play that type of environment. So what we want to try to do then is we want to try and capture the running ATR. Let me see if I find one in a downtrend. Here's one in a downtrend. Okay, so here the dots start printing. So the dots start printing. What you're going to look for is look for WPTs. Now you're going to look for an opposite color or a same color speed bar. So if you're in a downtrend, there it is, yellow. There's your green WPT that caught the, uh, the high of the move. And you want to try to get near that ATR as much as possible because remember, a close outside the ATR is your hard stop. So you can get small stops on this if, on these WPTs a lot because you can see they can land right on them. So this is a, uh, would be a WPT trade inside of a running ATR because it's an opposite color speed bar against the trend of the ATR. And then this is what's called a retracement trade. So that's retracing because we had a red speed bar with trend. So those are your two setups inside of a running ATR you're going to look for. Retracement trade and then catching the wrongly positioned traders with the WPT. All right, that's what we're going to try to do. We try to do that on a daily basis on an upside or downside. Gerald, go ahead and shut that off.